Hi boys and girls. Today we are going to talk about how to use email. A lot of you are using email with your teachers and I've noticed that we don't always understand the right way to use email. So we're going to have a review. First we're going to talk about how to properly write an email. To get to your email, which you can only use with teachers, the best thing to do is start from Google Chrome. When you open up your Google Chrome, you're going to look for the plus sign and open a new tab, and that will give you the option to click on Gmail up in the corner. That's the fastest way for that to happen. If you happen to open a new tab and the Gmail doesn't appear, just hit your refresh button and see if it appears up there. Click your Gmail, and if you are asked to log in, log in. Make sure that you see your name up here in the corner. When you are writing to your teacher, you need to remember, you're not texting with a friend. You are writing to an adult, and you are writing a formal email. You can be a little informal, because after all, it is a teacher, someone you probably know well. But you are going to want to follow some basic rules. First of all, to get your email started, click Compose. If you get any messages giving you little tips and tricks, you can read them, or you can click Got It. You can close them out. Do whatever works for you. In the To field, you can click and you can start te searching for your teacher by their last name. I'm going to email myself from a student account. In the subject, don't just start typing your question. In the subject, you might like to just give that teacher a little bit of a hint what you're asking about. So I'm going to say homework. Then click down into the main part of the email. Now, some of you might just launch right into the email, but it would be nice if you acknowledged the person that you were talking to like you would when you were writing the letter, especially with adults that you're talking to. So I'm going to say, hi, Mrs. Bibbler. And then I'm going to start a new line. I was wondering if you could tell me if I should do odd math problems or even math problems on page 32. I am not sure uh, from the directions. Notice that I used proper capitalization and I used punctuation while I'm writing to my teacher. Once again, you're not texting with a friend. You're not communicating via TikTok or Snapchat or something like that. You're, you're emailing an adult. Treat them like that. Then hit your return key and sign your name. This is uh, my good friend, fake student, so I'm just going to say fake. And then click send. Remember, try to spell it right. Try to use good punctuation and good capitalization. Don't type your question in the subject. Just give the teacher a hint of what they're looking for. Include a greeting, write complete sentences, and sign your name. Once you've looked it over and it looks good to you, go ahead and click send. In a minute, we're going to talk about checking your email and making sure you read it before you just go ahead and send another email.